Hey, how's it going, you fellow collectors? This is the movie spot. Um, wanted to just share a, a video with you guys. I finally um, got around to actually making this video to show you guys my home dedicated theater. Um, actually, I've been procrastinating on doing this video for quite some time now. Even though I can't say I'm 100% done, as you can see, I'm missing the front entry door. I'm actually putting um, two barn doors here to kind of close out that room but as you can see um, it's pretty much done I'm just missing like I said it's the um, the door but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into this video but real quick I want you guys to pay attention to the sound as I'm speaking in this area of the basement I'm sure you guys can hear the echoing but as we walking into the movie theater you're gonna notice that you're hearing no echoes the sound quality in this room is definitely um, very, very uh, soundproofed. Um, so once I put the door up, it's definitely going to be even more um, isolated. And that's pretty much what you want in a home theater. But yeah, let's get into this. Um, as you can see, um, I have here a 127 inch uh, acoustic transparent screen. And what that means is that I have three front stage, front stage speakers behind the screen. Um, so it doesn't prohibit any sound from getting through. I still hear the quality as I should, even though the speakers are behind the screen. And I went that route only because I was considering to have tower speakers in front of the screen on the corners there. But then I figured, you know what, if I were to do that, I was gonna have to go with a smaller screen and um, I really wanted to utilize as much as I could from this wall and um, I was also gonna go with a 16 by 9 but then again most movies nowadays are made for widescreen so I went ahead and went with a widescreen instead but um, far as the sound that I'm going with in this room is a 7.2.2 so what that means is I got four surround speakers, three in the front stage, two subwoofers, and I have two Atmos in the ceiling. And we'll get into that. Um, for first, let's get into the subs. I got two 12 inch clip subs. All the clip speakers are all designer series. So they're all in a copper finish. And this, these two subs definitely shake the room up. I can tell you that. And then far as the, um, the screen, I guess I did, I mentioned earlier, it's 127 inch transparent. And then far as the lighting that I'm going with in this room, I have here, as you can see, I have LED lights in the ceiling. Now, all of my light features are all controlled separately. So I can choose what type of ambience I want in the room. So depending on the mood, if I just want to have all the lights off and rock the LEDs, I can do that. In most cases, that's what I end up doing. I just end up um, uti um, utilizing the LEDs since I can kind of dim them or I can also um, change the colors. You know, I can, I can play around more with the LEDs depending on the mood or what movie I'm watching. And then I have the two spotlights, well, three spotlights in the front stage as well. Those I can turn on by themselves if I choose to. And then as you can see, I have a total of six Gonsons, three on one side and three behind me. And these are all dimmable. And then as you can see, I got a total of five acoustic transparent, I mean, acoustic panels, my bad. Um, this one here, I got the Logan. Now the sizes of these panels are um, 26 by 42. So rounding it off, each of them are um, four by two feet. Now these panels here, I made these myself. So it was a project that I wanted to tackle and I went in and I did it. And I definitely loved how it turned out. It's very clean. And um, how I made them is I went ahead and went on a website where you can actually look up the posters, send them out to this company where they'll go ahead and um, print them on the fabric. And um, if you can look at the, um, the pixels on these pictures, the resolution is 
really, really good. The clarity being that this is fabric, it looks like an actual poster, but it's on fabric. And then inside of this acoustic panel, I have soundproof insulation, so it's actually observing the sound. This is why you don't hear any echoes in this room. And then as far as the framing, I did them with a one by four. So if anybody out there is interested in doing something like this, holla at your boy, we can talk about it. I don't mind maybe throwing a few of these again. As you can see, this is the Avengers. Look at that. Nice. So these posters came out really good, I have to admit. And as far as the carpeting, I went with some stars. I'm a big Captain America fan, so it kind of inspired me as well to go with this. And it also gives me, uh, well, at least in my opinion, I think it throws out the theater vibe. Since I got the sconces, I had to get some type of theater uh, carpeting done as well. And as far as the seating area, I chose to go with six, even though I can probably go with seven, but I chose to go with six because it allows me to center the lower stage and the upper stage area and as you can see i went with uh, a 12 inch riser so i got one step here and another step there and these also have lights um, i apologize i didn't turn those on but I'll, pro I'll i'll turn them on as we go so real quick before i forget um, here goes the light up feature that i mentioned regarding the steps so as you can see here even the steps light up because this room can definitely get dark when I got all the lights off so I figured this was a must-have so that you know when you're watching a movie and you have to go get yourself a, a, something to drink a snack or even use the restroom you have no problems and you're not tripping over anyone this definitely brings out a good um, touch to the theater so there you go now right now I got just the LED lights on right now and probably the, the camera here is throwing off a little bit more light but it still gets a little darker even though you got these lights on. It doesn't distract you from watching the movies where I'm basically getting that. Because for me when I'm watching a movie I definitely like the room to be as dark as possible. So these lights definitely doesn't interfere with that. And there you go. But yeah. And then we have another acoustic panel here, John Wick. What theater room, how can you go with a theater room without having yourself a poster of John Wick, right? That's a must have. So I did this one. Now there was so many selections, I had no idea which one to go with, meaning they're all, they were all kick-ass pictures, but I wanted something more in this room, kind of the kind of flow with like a black and white type of vintage feel to this room. Even though I have like two posters, it's got some color, but um, I can swap them out to different types of posters. Like this one here, this is Wonder Woman. Obviously it's not black and white, but this was a request by the wifey. Plus I really enjoyed the first one, the, fir the, the first one of Wonder Woman. So I figured why not? throw a little color in this room as you can see the color is actually um, the, the color of this room is black with um, gray and it's everything is all in a matte finish and then you look here this is one of the surrounds and it's got a magnet cover so I can choose to display the speaker to match the subs if I want to or I can go ahead and just put it back on and since it's magnetized it's very easy to put back on and that's how all the four surround speakers are there was another speaker there and as you can see I got some collectibles here now this theater room far as aesthetically I'm still moving things around kind of displaying things figuring out which looks nicer so you know I have a, a dedicated um, gallery area in my basement where I'm kind of going to be putting all of my um, collectibles in there my 1-6 scales my customs bust things to that nature it's a separate room where I'm going to actually display all of my collection but I'll get into that video later because I'm going to do a 2022 on that and as you can see we got the Guardians of the Galaxy oops sorry about that Guardians of the Galaxy and then 
we got some more movies over there. And then the actual main course of the theater is your projector. Now, I'm actually um, rocking the Epson 6050. Um, it actually throws out 4K resolution. Now, to those of you, I would highly recommend um, this projector. If you're looking to build something, I would say this is the perfect entry level projector. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. It's kind of in the middle. It's basically, it's a bang for your buck. You're gonna get everything that you would want in a projector, but not having to pay the really high price. Because I've seen projectors go as high as up to over $10,000 easily. And I think this one here, um, I get all the brightness, I get all the pixels, resolutions, all of that good stuff, and nowhere near 10,000. And as you can see, I got the lights on and you can still see the brightness and the clarity of the picture. And right now it's on a 16 by nine. So if I were to go ahead and put it in a widescreen option, and it'll, 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 it'll even look even sweeter. And I have that option with this projector. This projector has um, memory. So you can actually uh, memorize it to go 16 by nine. And then whenever you're watching a widescreen movie, you can switch it to widescreen and it has that um, that capability of memory to do that and far as what i'm controlling everything with is a harmony pro so it controls my my projector it controls all the sounds it controls my dvd player it also can control the lighting in this room it basically is the source of controlling everything in this room now let's go into the components this is the brain of the theater. Right now, it's um, it's in an AV rack that has room for upgrade. So as you can see, I'm still got a lot of space that I'm gonna utilize in the future um, just to up the sound if I choose to. But for now, I am using the Denon 11.2 channel receiver. I highly recommend that. It gives me enough room to add more speakers. And then far as for moving, going, for movie watching, I got the Sony 4K player, and then I have an Apple TV for streaming. So I have the option if I choose to wanna go ahead and just throw on maybe some Blu-ray movies, cause the sound quality on a disc is way better than when you're streaming, to be honest. So there's certain movies I, I care to watch um, in 4K, cause I don't wanna lose any of the sound quality. And then if I'm just lazy and I just wanna stream the movie and not have to get up and swap disc then i just go ahead and start streaming and over here as you can see i got some other collectibles here toy story now this one here is the first release this is when this was released the first time this is it right here i know after this they re-released these um these collectibles here and i can tell you the quality is way different each of these here come with its coa so the uh, certificate of authenticity is it. I haven't opened this box in over 10 years and the battery still works because I can still hear them speak. Let's see if I can do buzz. Buzz Lightyear reporting for sector duty. <laughs> still works, yeah buddy. See, 10 years it's been in this box and the batteries are still working. Ain't that something? So I'm trying to kind of keep the integrity of the box, even though it's over 10 years, it's got a little wear and tear, but for the most part, it's in mint condition, as far as the, um, the collectibles themselves. And then here's another surround speaker here. Now, just keep in mind, guys, all of these speakers that I have around the whole entire theater room, it's all targeted the main seating position. So my main seating position is the middle. So when I'm watching a movie, I'm usually sitting right there. Or sometimes I may wanna watch a scary movie and I'll sit right there in the front, but it's in the middle. So all of my speakers are targeting that main position. And then I got here the, um, the two Atmos speakers. And that's also targeting my seating position. So anything in the movies that got bullets, helicopters, thunder, lightning, rain any 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 particular sound that's coming from the sky i'm getting it from up here so 
I think that's pretty awesome. Now going over here, <clears throat> we got a couple of collectibles here. I got part three, Sideshow Jason with a custom Hesco by One's Custom. Now I'm not gonna get too much into that because I, had, I already did a review on him. And I got Ghostface and I got a, a, a Hesco by Commission Legio, uh, the Freddy um, versus, um, Freddy versus Jason. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a few pictures I posted of this head scope. Um, I'm the original first one. He, um, I requested him to do this scope, so he decided to do a run of six pieces. Um, so I'm one out of six. So I'm happy about that because, you know, it makes it more valuable when you know that there's less pieces out there. And, and I'll tell you, the head scope is fire. And then we got some horror movies. And then going over here, we got some 1-6 Myers. I know they're missing their head sculpts. Reason being is because I sent them out to Germany. There's a, there's a guy out there that I, that I work with that's actually customizing the head sculpts to make them more movie accurate. And also wanted the, the I wanted rooted hair. So yeah, I'm getting that done. And then we got the boots. I had to change those boots because everybody knows that those boots look like um, clown boots. So I went ahead and went with the um, more accurate boots and I weathered them myself. But I can always get into a review on that later on. And then we got a custom knife that I commissioned, um, Dave Aries from Tolina Customs. And it's an actual real knife, real metal and real wood. Um, so I got that done and then with him on the 2018 uh, all I did with this one is I just it put some um, ankle pegs extensions just to make them taller so as you can see I don't know if you can really tell but if I put them side by side you can see that the 2018 is taller than the 78 it was chucky so right now I, I kind of got these figures a little bit you know, in, in different places, only because, like I said, I'm working in a room in my basement that's gonna be my gallery where I'm gonna have all of my displays of my collection. So once I get that done, like I said, I'm gonna do a video on that. And then I'm sure you've kind of been catching a little piece by piece as I've been moving along. This piece right here, for those of you that know, this is the famous Dark Ride silicone mask. This version is the 2v1. But if I didn't say that, it looks definitely like the 2v2 version because of the paint app. Now this paint application, he went with a more darker and more burnt and glossier look. Kind of more so movie accurate, I would say. If you look at the lips and the eyes, it's more darker. It's got some purple black tones to it. And then you can actually see the veins. I don't know if this captures it, but... I'm not gonna get too too much into depth in that right now. I can do a separate video on that. And then we got the size show Freddy as well. And then we have a glove that just I just got in yesterday. This is from Hellraiser Glove. Um, just so you guys know, I highly and highly recommend this guy. I am not disappointed on the gloves. This guy really kicked this one, hit this one out the park. I love the glove. It's, it sits on my hands really nice. It's not too heavy. It's not, you know, it's, a, it's got a real nice weight to it. Uh, the functionality of the knives is really easy. Um, the guy just basically took the measurements of my hands and built the glove to fit my hand. So I highly recommend him to those that are actually looking for a legit glove. Go holler at him. Customer service, I give him five stars. I had no issues communicating with the guy. The guy kept me up to date through the process. So. I highly recommend them. As good as he is, without even receiving this glove, I went ahead and commissioned him to do me a part four because I'm also building a part four. So um, I'm waiting on a mask from Evolutions on a part four. And also I already have the sweater and the hat. Um, and as far as here, as you can see, we also have the Margaret sweater and weathered by Tim Richards, as well as the hat by Tim. So I went ahead and bought this whole combo set from him. The guy does really excellent work. I'm sure the community knows him very well. I was looking for a part four sweater and sure enough, everybody pointed me to him. So, but luckily I was able to cop one outside, someone locally. So 
I saved myself some money there. But anyways, <clears throat> that's enough of this piece here. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on these pieces. I'm going to do a video on this one, and then I'm also going to do a video on the... Um, I'm going to do a video on the part four. So, all right, guys. I appreciate you guys for taking 20 minutes of your time to see this video. I hope this was very inspirational to you guys that are looking to do something like this. Uh, if you have any questions or you need any help upon anything, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I try to post as much as I can when I can. Uh, but... Um, so just stay tuned. I'm going to be posting some open boxes videos and I'm also going to do my 2022 collection video, amongst other things. So again, thank you for watching. This is the Theater Spot saying God bless. Peace out. Catch you on the next video. Peace.